Hello, today we are going to be making a paper cowboy or cowgirl boot. Um, I have these two that I made here in brown. The file is set up for these colors, but you can change it to any colors you like. The uh, one I'm going to put together today for you, actually I have cut in three colors of pink to be more of a cowgirl boot. Um, but again, you can use whatever colors that you want for your project. So the way this boot is assembled is basically two sections that we're going to put together, and then we'll put those two sections together. So the heel and the sole, which is this piece, hooks together with this piece of the sole. It's the one that does not have a little hole in the center. If you look at this one, there's like a little slot right in the middle. This one does not have a slot in the middle. It also has larger slots. That one goes with the bottom of the boot. Then the top of the boot, we have this top sole piece. This piece, which is the the uh, like the toe box, and then this piece, which is like the ankle and the um, the upright part of the boot. So to start off, we're going to set our heel and our bottom sole piece aside, and we're going to start with these pieces. I'm going to start with the uh, the toe of the boot. I'm going to actually slide these out of the way too so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start off by giving it just a little bit of a curl on the top of what would be like the top of the foot. So I'm going to give it a curl. And then in the back here, this part, this tab is going to go into the slot for working from the outside inward. So it'll end up going, you know, in like that. You're going to put it together by flipping the tab. There's like two sides on the tab. You're going to bend those inward like that. Okay. So then you're going to, with that squeeze together, you're going to push that part that you bent into that slot. And then you can see from the inside of the boot, it's going to look like that and you're just gonna unfold those tabs. And that creates a nice little lock. It's not gonna pop apart because that is enough bigger than the slot you put it through that it really locks it in good because you had to fold it to do it. It's not just gonna unfold and pop apart. All right, so there we have that piece. Now we're gonna put together the, um, the ankle piece on the boot. Now this, it doesn't matter whether you curl it this way or whether you flip it over and curl it this way. Um, if you're doing a bunch of these, you might want to do them all the same way, but it really doesn't matter. It's mirrored, um, so you end up with the same piece either way. We're going to start off with these little, uh, or actually we're going to start off with these tabs. So again, we're going to, when we put these tabs together, we're going to put them from, and I'm going to flip it this way, we're going to put them in working from the outside, pushing them inward. So I'm going to fold the sides of each tab in. Curl it around. And then again, pushing them from the outside inward. They should just kind of pop open on their own when you push them in. I have a finger I put down in there just to help support it. Now, they've popped open on their own, but you might want to actually uh, take your finger and go down in there and unfold each tab just to make sure that they can't pop back open. Now these little things at the side, we're going to fold those down and just give them a little glue right at the end because we want them to be like a little loop. You can see on the one that's already made here, we want them to be like a little loop. So we're just gluing the very end of that tab. Now for glue, you can use a glue stick for most of this. Um, when we go to put the two soles together, a glue gun really works best for this particular project because it just dries faster, it's uh, a little easier to put together, especially on a piece like those two soles, there's gonna be a little bit of a tension. And so glue gun works a little better. So I'm just gonna use a glue gun for this project for most of it. 
So I'm just going to put a tiny tab of glue right at the end. And I'm going to fold it down like so. Same with this one. I'm going to give it a bit of a finger curl first to get a smoother line there. Put a little glue right at the end. Fold it down. And there you go. You've got it flipped over like that. Now, we're going to attach this to the upper sole. This ankle piece is going to go through here. So there's this little, like, um, I don't know what to call it, a little piece there, decorative piece. We're going to put this, you're going to kind of curl that up to get this ankle piece through. And with that up out of the way, you're going to slide it, go ahead and slide it up. You're going to take the two tabs on the ankle part of the boot and slide them through this middle slot and the slot on the back of the heel. And again, you can use a glue stick for this part. However, I will say glue gun a little easier. Just put a little glue on each tab, fold it nice and flat. You do want there to be no space between. You want to pull that tab all the way so it really gets in there. Same with this side. Okay. And now we're going to slide down this toe part of the boot. And you're just going to slide each of these little tabs through the slot that it lines up with. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and glue these two just to get it done. Again, I'm going to just give it a little dot. I'll use a tiny bit of hot glue. Make sure it's nice and flush. Hold down all the way. And if you'll notice, it's going to curve a little. This sole piece kind of curves with the boot. There's a little bit of curve to that, and that's okay. You want it to have that. So it gives the boot its shape. Just a little bit of glue on these tabs. Make sure they're pulled down nice and tight. That's what helps get that curve. Helps the boot go into a shape. And then at the toe, you will want to make sure this one is pulled all the way. Little glue there. And fold it down flat. And there you go. The top of your boot is together. So the sole piece will look like that. Top will look like this. And we're ready to build the bottom of the boot. So we're going to set this to the side. And now I'm going to pull these pieces out, which is the it's the heel and the bottom half of the sole. So first I'm going to take my heel piece and I'm going to give it a little bit of finger curl here. Finger curl is where you just kind of like run it through your fingers, kind of gently give it a little curl without like giving it a hard crease. And again, this tab at the back of the heel, we're going to fold it in and go from outside to inside. So we're going to fold it in like so. And then keeping it pinched, slide it through the slot like that. Flip it over to the inside. Make sure that tab opens, the sides of the tab open. That's together. Again, just make sure the heel kind of give it a bit of a finger curl again. And it's going to be, you know, you're going to kind of squish it in a little to work with this sole. And again, the this is at the back. 
the heel, the little line there. So you're going to put that at the back of the heel and you're just going to line it up with the uh, these little slots. You can kind of pop them in one by one. You could pop them all through the slots and then glue, or you could pop them in one by one and glue. Either way, I'm going to try to slide them all in first. Sometimes, though, when you do that, they do pop back out. All right, now I'm going to give it a little glue on each tab. Glue it down. Glue it down. If you're using hot glue, you don't want to, you want to make sure you push it down enough that you're flattening the glue so you don't end up with like a hard lump under that tab. Again, this is going to curve as we go. So you're going to want to make sure you're pulling each of those all the way through and then gluing. So again, pulled it all the way flush so those are together. And now the toe of the boot. Okay, so there we go. We've got a nice little heel. And now all we need to do is put the top of the boot and the bottom of the boot together. This part's pretty easy. You're just lining up top to bottom. So we want to take our glue gun. This is the part that really, um, I tried to do it with a glue stick and it just, it didn't really work because of the tension that it needs to hold with this piece being a little curved. So we're going to put hot glue in here and then I'm just going to start by lining it up the heel, looking quickly enough that it doesn't dry. And pushing those together. Squeezing around the edges. All right, and there we go. We now have a pink version of our boot for a cowgirl party. And we're all done.